A little while ago, we did a video talking about the Intel A770 in Linux and what the drivers and support looked like at that point in time. We got a lot of recurring comments from people saying, hey, you should have tried a kernel version six and newer. So what I wanted to do, and I actually did this testing a couple of weeks ago, and I kind of shelled this video, but something interesting came up while I was testing some other GPUs over the last couple of days, is that not everything is still what it seems with using a newer version of the Linux kernel, and one that includes drivers rolled into the kernel itself. Basically, this video is to prove a lot of what the comment section said wrong. There's a lot of misleading information going around about the Intel Arc A770 in Linux. And I'm gonna kind of dispel some of that in this video. Let's see what the story is. A few weeks ago, as mentioned in the intro, I went through and I retested it and I felt like I wasted two days just testing these things. The way I actually went about testing this in Linux this time was a clean install. I used Manjaro with the rolling release with the latest kernel, latest drivers, latest everything. And the benchmark results that we saw with using Intel's driver on Ubuntu 22.04, the results were almost exactly the same. And it didn't really matter what kernel version we were using. Not only that, to make a bit of a better comparison, I installed kernel 6.2.7 on Ubuntu on the same version that I used for our initial testing to see what the story was. And once again, there's only a very slight uplift in performance. Now, one thing that I thought was more interesting than anything else was the fact that people are saying, oh, once the driver is rolled into the kernel, we're gonna get better compatibility with games and 3D applications. And the truth is, it's just as bad. Almost nothing has changed. In fact, some benchmarks that ran before now just don't run at all. So had quite a few issues with that. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was previously when I tried to run CSGO, we saw there was an OpenGL error and CSGO just would not launch in Linux at all. And I'm happy to report that it still doesn't work at all. We get to the main screen in the game and then it just crashes out and times out. So there's not a lot more I can add to this. I wanted to keep this one as short as possible, but if you're interested, let's compare some of the results between the kernel version we used before and 6.2.7 with the latest updates and everything as of, I'm gonna say three weeks ago, because as I mentioned, my idea was just to shelve this video because there was nothing really to add to this, but the more I thought about it and the more comments I see on that video, I just have to address this because a lot of what the comments have said have just been flat out wrong with Intel Arc on Linux with the newer kernel. It's still just as bad. All right, let's take a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p. We can see that with the newer kernel, the performance is exactly the same. And we actually see the same thing being echoed here with the 1440p benchmark. And lastly, we see the same result again at 4K as well. So nothing too surprising here. Where we actually saw improvement was the fact that the 1080p Extreme benchmark in Unity and Superposition actually ran. In 1440p, this benchmark actually ran. This was crashing out before, but in 4K was the only one that we actually saw running, but the performance is now worse with the newer kernel version. For Cyberpunk, the results are only marginally better at 1080p. They're also slightly better at 1440p by about three frames per second. And at 4K, just for good measure, you can see that it's only marginally better as well. And those are the benchmarks. And I know that there's a lot of Linux users out there who are very passionate about their distro that they like to use and the distros they think that we should be using. But the truth is we didn't see any difference with the distro, even using a new kernel. If you're a Linux user who's looking at the Intel Arc A770 or any of the Intel Arc GPUs for that matter, I'm gonna say probably wait till Battle Mage comes out, which is the next Intel GPU generation. But for now, just don't waste your time. Oh, 
I'm going to get so roasted for this one. But that's the truth. Just don't waste your time, guys. Buy another GPU if you want something for Linux for now. I said this in the last video where I talked about the difference between using a driver and it being rolled into the kernel is going to be negligible. And this shows that, again, like I tried for two days to get everything that you guys wanted to see working and it was just so frustrating. It's just a waste of time. Then if you like me being a dickhead and <laughs> wasting your time with videos like this too, get subscribed. Got lots of content coming out this week. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and yeah, I wasn't even gonna make a video about this. And I did because of all the other testing and stuff I was doing that I just thought it was interesting enough to show you guys that, yeah, it's just not that good. It's just not.